What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome to my home gym. Remember those days, those L's, I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake games, stay in peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so proud. Okay, so I've wanted to make this video for so, so long because every time I share little snippets of me training at home or my home gym on my Instagram, you guys go mad. You wanna see what I've got in there, how I made it, how I did it, what the details are. So that is what this video is gonna be all about. I'm gonna link everything down below that I can find so you've got an idea of costs, where to find it. And also, I wanna do a section towards the end of the video where I'll basically just chat through if you are a uni student or maybe you are only able to train in your living room or you just basically need like a small box of kit that you can just tuck away somewhere. Exactly what I would say is like your minimum wish list to be able to do some good home workouts. Right guys, without further ado, let's get on with this tour. Okay, I'm gonna start with this guy, which is the rack, which is probably the main thing that kind of holds this whole place together. So this is the rack which we have. It is a MyraFit one, and it we did actually originally have it just as the rack in itself, and then we added the cable attachment at the back, which has got a pulley at the top, and has also got a pulley at the bottom. So you can plate load it at the back, just back there, and you can obviously have attachments at the top and the bottom. It did come with these safety bars, which are really good if you are squatting on your own. And also I think it came with a couple of these as well. It has also got a pull-up bar across the top there, literally just a bar, but it does the job 100%. This is the main piece of kit, I would say, which obviously takes up the bulk of the room in here. I wake up good, you're so bouchy. Please get from around me. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Cause switching, you would pick a size. Don't blink. So, in terms of cost, this was definitely one of the most expensive pieces in here because it is obviously a big piece of kit, basically. So, I'm pretty sure this one was around £300. There are way, way more complicated, more sophisticated ones. To be honest with you, this one has literally been amazing. I know it is pretty standard, but it is really, really good. Obviously the exercises that I'm gonna be using the rack for are things like squats, military press or overhead press, bench press, any of those kind of compound movements where I'm gonna to have to be racking the bar, that's exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. And obviously the attachments at the back with the cable, I'm gonna be using the different attachments to then do different exercises on there. So I'm gonna chat you through the cable attachments and stuff in a sec. In terms of the bar itself, we did actually get the bar as part of a set, I believe, with the plates, but you wanna make sure that you have got a good bar and that it is a 20 kilo, seven foot bar because they're the ones that you want. So that's what this is. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you have got a good selection of different clips that you can use to obviously secure the weights securely onto the bar. Definitely invest in some of these cuffs if you can because they're so, so much easier and better than these, in my opinion. So in terms of the weights themselves, now this is probably, again, where costs can kind of creep up, but I would say with the weights, we added to it over a period of time. We didn't suddenly get loads and loads in one go. We started out with a little set, which I think had a couple of different combinations, like maybe two 15s, two 10s, a couple of fives. That was definitely a couple of hundred pounds because they are heavy and they are good quality plates. But like I said, get what you need and add to it because you will find that you can do a lot with not very much. And you definitely don't need all of these plates. This is obviously not for me all entirely. But yeah, have a look and figure out how much you need to have, like what is the rough combinations of loads. I would say that I use the light plates, these guys a lot because they are very easy to just slowly add weight. And obviously I will be using a few of those really big plates for hip thrusts and squats and those types of things. But these smaller plates are really, really good. These are 2.5s, these are 1.25s 
and these are fives at just slowly bumping weights up. So definitely I would recommend having a range of weights, not just two big ones. Get a mix of different ones and add to it as you go. Right, I'm gonna go through the different cable attachments and different like accessory pieces that I also use with the rack to show you how else I guess we've added to like the basic frame. So these are the main attachments that I use. So these are actually candles. So you kind of put them in the side and you can do dips with them or you can do ab exercises. I also have a ankle cuff, which is really good for anything like kickbacks, a handle, which is brilliant for lateral raises, a rope, is probably up there with one of my, my most used things. I really, really love this attachment. You can use it for ab work, you can use it for upper body work. These are brilliant. So got one of these guys. Also got a close grip row attachment. I think that's what you call it. Then these two, I feel like these did come with the rack, but I could be wrong. So this is a straight bar. So you'd use this for like bicep curls, that kind of thing. And then this is your kind of classic lap pull down bar, which you can do obviously lap pull down as well as some row variations with. So the next important piece of kit you're going to want to make sure that you've got is obviously going to be a bench. Now this one looks a little bit worse for wear, I'm not going to lie, but it was actually a second hand bench that we got from a local gym that was closing. That is an amazing way to get some second hand kit if you're looking for things. But yeah, it looks a little bit worse for wear, but it is a really, really good commercial standard gym bench. So. I'm happy for it to look a little bit rough around the edges if it's good and it does the job. And that is what this guy does. So in terms of the bench itself, you are gonna wanna make sure that you've got one which is obviously adjustable. So this one has got a little handle here which will pull out and it will allow you to raise the bench up. It doesn't go decline, but it does raise itself all the way up so you can do it for like a seated shoulder press, that kind of thing. Obviously you use this for a ton of stuff, literally a hundred million things this gets used for so classic it's got wheels so it can wheel itself kind of around it's just generally a really good one minus the slight wear and tear the poor guys had okay so moving into this back kind of corner area this is a hyper extension now this again was kind of a new-ish purchase which definitely isn't a necessity pretty much most big gyms have them and i'm really not convinced you necessarily need one in your home gym and we did for so long without one but it's just really really good for glute work so it is a big piece of kit obviously to only be able to do one thing on but if that floats your boat it is pretty good i would definitely say that you have to kind of pick your priorities and if things are a priority don't be shy to invest in the kit that you need to do it but definitely bear in mind that for at least the first 12 months all that we had was the rack the free weights the dumbbells the kettlebells and the bench we didn't have any of these other like little bits these have just been added as like we've got a little bit of space should we get that that kind of thing so i would definitely just work with the space you've got. There is so, so much that you can do with the basics, but I promise you I would show you pretty much everything that's in here, so. Okay, moving in to the dumbbell rack. This guy has done us some serious service. Again, we didn't start with as many dumbbells as we've got, but they are a really good investment. Definitely, if you're picking a good range of weights, they can be super, super useful. So let me show you guys what we've got. So dumbbell wise, we have got a pair of four kilo, six kilo, eight kilo, and 10 kilo. That pretty much covers most of what we use. But then we also have these adjustable dumbbells, which you can load with free weight plates and pretty much make them up to whatever weight you want. So these are brilliant. They're kind of like mini little barbells. They are kind of awkward to keep reloading, but they're really, really worth it. If you don't want to invest loads and loads more dumbbells, get yourself some of these if you've already got the free weight plates anyway. And also there is a lot that you can do by using these plates as dumbbells. So things like lateral raises, a lot of ab work. You can use these instead of dumbbells. So definitely have a play with different combinations. What works for you in terms of what kit you've got or what kit you want to invest in. And we've also got some kettlebells. Now kettlebells are a 
funny one. I feel like they are quite good value to get your hands on, but their use is a little bit more limited than say dumbbells are. You definitely can do stuff with them. I love a good kettlebell swing. I really like using them for ab work. I also use them if I'm using the hyper extension and I want to kind of hug a weight to be able to do them weighted. So I think we got these in a set, as you can tell by their clearly the same make. So this one, he's a little three kilo. This guy's six, 12, 18. And I think this big guy, yeah, 24. I definitely think that when it comes to dumbbells and kettlebells and those kind of pieces of kit, have a look for a set. Have a look on places like eBay, Amazon, go into your local sports shops, have a look for little sets and then maybe invest a little bit more in specific weights if you need them above what the set accommodates to, as long as they are weights that you actually need. So it's pointless getting a set if the only weight that you're gonna use is the top pair that they've got. That's not gonna be a good use of money. So make sure what you're buying is actually what you're gonna be able to use. Don't put all your eggs in one set because you're gonna to wanna to be progressing. You're also gonna be wanting to use different weights for different exercises. So just think about those things and plan out roughly how much you need in terms of weight and just make sure you've got a range there to work with. Next up, we're gonna chat through these guys, which are resistance bands. So I've got a whole, whole mix of resistance bands, which again, they've just accumulated over time. You definitely, 100% do not need this many, but I would recommend investing in a couple of different lengths, two different lengths to be specific, but also at least two different strengths. So this is a collection of short bands that I've got. There are absolutely loads of them on here, which are all different strengths from super, 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 super heavy, which is this little guy, which absolutely kills you, to lighter, thinner, there's all sorts of different combinations there. So these guys I would use for glute activation. I would also use them within my workout itself. So I would use them if I was doing hip thrusts and I was doing banded hip thrusts. These short circles is what I would use. And yeah, for activation, finishes, all sorts of stuff. I would recommend getting two strengths, like I said before. I would maybe go like medium and heavy, or if you are definitely a beginner, go with a light and a medium. And then you've just got two different strengths Use your lighter one for your warm activation work. Use your heavier one when you're really killing it in that workout. So I said that there were two lengths that I would definitely recommend that you invest in. So the second is a long resistance band. So there are a couple of different ones that we've got here. They are basically just different strengths. So this super thick one is really strong and this one is not as strong. It's obviously got less resistance. So I would use these to assist me with doing pull-ups. I would also use them to warm up my upper body. You can get them in a set. I will definitely try and link the set down below because you can get them in a set and they are really, really good. Okay, three other very tiny little accessories which I just wanted to show you. So this is obviously a barbell pad. This absolutely 100 million percent needs to be on your list if you are doing hip thrust. It's only about a tenner on Amazon. I'm gonna link it because it will save your hips, save your life. This is a must. Also, the ab wheels. I am the biggest fan of an ab wheel. They are such a good ab exercise. They're such a good thing to work up to. These are the two that we've got. This one is much cheaper. I'm pretty sure it was only about a fiver or like six quid. This one was more expensive. It was at least 15 pounds, I would say. This one is much better, much sturdier if you want to invest in it. Okay, so now it's time to show you what I would say is your absolute minimum at home, living room, bedroom, uni room, whatever you want to call it type setup for you to still get some good home workouts in but you've got minimal space probably like you want to do it super budget so this is for you this section okay so this is what i would say is your absolute essentials so you have got a good quality mat now you would also use this in the gym so think of it as like for there and if you just wanted to do something simple at home i invested a little bit more and got a lululemon one i did have a really really rubbish one 
to be honest with you, this is one of the best things I've spent money on. It is so, so, so good. I cannot even describe. In terms of dumbbells, I'd recommend you get two different weights at least as your absolute minimum. And I've also got two different resistance band strengths. So I've got a light one and a heavy one. I've also then got my trusty ab wheel because you can do this absolutely anywhere and it's incredible. So this is your super simple setup which will all slide straight under the sofa, in a little box, under your bed, whatever you fancy. I really feel like there is so much that you can do with those. I have done lots of workouts on my Instagram where I've only used dumbbells or I've only used bands or I've just done body weight hit. There are so many different things that you can do if you just want to do something at home, you haven't got a massive amount of money you want to invest in it and you haven't got a massive amount of space. Don't let that put you off because there's honestly lots that you can do and start small, build your way up, but having some kit to hand, that's a lifesaver. When it is cold, it's dark, you're home late from work and you just wanna do 10 or 15 minutes, it's a lifesaver. So I definitely recommend investing 50 quid, whatever you can, into just a few small pieces of kit so at least you've got something there. If you do wanna train and you can't get out of the house or you can't be bothered to get out of the house. At least there is some stuff there to hand which you can just whip out, get a workout done. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed having a look around my home gym and also any of the tips in terms of kit, how to train at home, all of that good stuff. Please do hit like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and make sure you come and say hey on Instagram because I share workouts there pretty much every day, if not every other day. So come and say hey there. Like, subscribe, comment down below, have a chat, and I'll see you guys in the next one.